Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Rudder Lessons. We got another unboxing today. I'm really excited for this one because I'm gonna be trying two fragrances that I have been wanting to get for a while. Uh, Fragranceby.ca was so gracious to send these over to me, so I'm excited to give you my thoughts on these two niche fragrances, ones that I suspect I'm gonna be wearing a lot and really enjoying, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin this unboxing and I tell you about the two fragrances that are in here that I'm really excited to sample, perhaps a few samples in here as well. And so if we do have a few that I haven't tried on camera before, I'll make sure to give my opinion on those as well. I do wanna mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, if you like unboxings, reviews, top tens, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. And if you can give this video a thumbs up, it would really mean a lot to me. And so let's just go ahead and get started. The only thing that I did is I peeled the sticker off a little bit just so I don't make a fool out of myself trying to open it on camera because something that's happened before, I'm not very proud of it, but uh, I've opened a few of these boxes and let me tell you, I am always mesmerized by what I find. And of course, fragranceby.ca is the um, sponsor of today's video, if you will. They have sent this to me. Uh, and so if you are interested in getting a really good deal on niche and designer fragrances, please check them out. All of the links are gonna be down below. They are not affiliate links. I'm not making any sort of a kickback from it. Um, but here we are. Um, I have been waiting for this package today. And so funny story, my wife and I are getting ready to leave and go to Philadelphia today. And I said, we gotta hold off a little bit longer. We gotta hold off. And FedEx just delivered this. And so I'm excited that I didn't leave prematurely because then I wouldn't have the opportunity to make one of these two my scent of the day. And I think I know which one I'm gonna go with just because of its season appropriateness. Although it is a little bit on the dark side, I will admit that. Okay, so the fragrances are Dark Vanilla by Montal. And the other one is Gucci Incenso, A Midnight Stroll. Now, this is a tester, it just says A Midnight, but the full name of the fragrance is A Midnight Stroll. Now, I actually did a video on The Last Day of Summer by Gucci. I mentioned it in my previous fragranceby.ca unboxing. I'm gonna leave a card to that up here. And that is an awesome fragrance, kind of along the vein of Ursa by Tiziana Terenzi and also Straight to Heaven by Killian Paris. And so it's a little bit on the darker side. And of course, with a name like A Midnight Stroll, this one is gonna be on the darker side as well. But um, there's just something about the note breakdown that really caught my attention. And I was talking to somebody in one of the Facebook groups and they also suggested that I pick this one up. And I think this is also going to be evocative of some of Alberto Morias's other works for Gucci. And so super excited to try this one. So let's do this one first, just because I think I'm gonna make this my scent of the day. And again, like I said, I thought it might be a little season appropriate, but it's probably not gonna be just because it's so dark. Never tried this one before. I have tried a lot of the other Gucci fragrances from the Alchemist Garden. That's the collection that this fragrance is in, but I've never tried a Midnight Stroll before. But with a name like a Midnight Stroll, we can expect this one to be a little bit on the darker side. <sighs> yep, dark it is. So, ooh, dark, smoky, a little balsamic. Wow, very smoky, um, almost like birch or cade. It just gives off that really dark sort of brooding gothic quality. I can see how somebody would compare this to Gucci Guilty Absolute, uh, just because this one is definitely on the darker side. Gucci Guilty Absolute also has that dark uh, sort of bad boy, rugged gothic thing happening in it. It was not a fragrance that was too strongly to my liking. I did a video on it and you guys know that I didn't overly praise it just because it's not my style, even though I appreciate it for its artistic merit and the fact that they were pushing the envelope a little bit, or I should say Alberto and Gucci were pushing the envelope. Um, but this one is kind of similar, but I feel like it goes in its own territory. So I suppose this can get compared to fragrances like uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex by Zoologist. It can also get compared, like I said, to Gucci Guilty Absolute. Also, um, a fragrance by imaginary authors called The City on Fire, just because that fragrance is also very dark, very smoky. And so this is immediately bringing to mind those fragrances. But you know what? Like the name implies, there's also an incense -y quality about this one. And so it's a little earthy, it's a little balsamic, it's very smoky, but there's also a little bit of an incense -y quality in this one as well. 
and I'm not quite sure what it is. I want to say there's a little bit of olibanum in here, which is also known as frankincense. That note has a bit of a lemony pine smell. <sighs> so I actually really like this one. <laughs> I really do like this one. I didn't think I would love it as much as I do, but I do like this one. And I, I think the longer that I give this time to sit on my skin, the more it's going to warm up. Oof, really like dark, uh, mysterious. If you want to give off that vibe, like really dark, mysterious, uh, I think this is going to be the perfect perfume for you. I'm actually really enjoying it. Like I said, Gucci Guilty Absolute was not a love for me, but this one I really like. And so I'm excited to spend a little bit more time with that, get to know it a little bit better. So the next one is actually Dark Vanilla by Montal. So this is one that I probably sampled before just because there are a lot of boutiques in the Soho area, some of which are closed now, by the way, uh, that have carried most Montal fragrances. And I want to say this is one that I probably sampled at some point throughout my journey. And, you know, I am all over anything Montal Gourmand. And of course, with a name like Dark Vanilla, you're expecting this to be a vanilla, but on the darker side. And so you have that characteristic purple and black bottle with that gradient on it that we've seen in some other Montal fragrances, some of which I've actually reviewed on my channel. And of course, this one has the older style presentation where you can actually take this off. Let's go ahead and spray it on. <sighs> so good, absolutely amazing. Wow, so it has the vanilla in here and it comes across very smooth and sultry but there's also a spicy characteristic about it. If you've tried other Montal Vanillas slash Gourmands, you'll know pretty much what to expect from this fragrance. It gives off a very sweet vibe, but there's like a woodsy characteristic rounding it out where it's not 100% vanilla. If you're familiar with the dry down of Intense Cafe by Montal, you can expect something along the same lines. Of course, minus the rose, minus the coffee, and the more that I smell it, the more that vanilla is not as subtle as I thought it was going to be. It really rises to the top and it really sort of steals the spotlight, if you will. Whoa, it's a very smooth, very accommodating vanilla. And I think it's a type of vanilla as well that can be worn all year round. I know some of the heavier Montals, if you're adding saffron, like a heavy dose of saffron, if you're adding agarwood to the mix, if you're adding a lot of spices in there, clove, what have you, I think that would kind of compromise the versatility of the perfume. But in the case of this one, I really think that all of the uh, notes that are in here are complementing the vanilla just to create the sort of genial sweetness, not something that is so brash and brazen where you say to yourself, uh oh, you know, this is one that I'm going to have to save for the winter. You know, in the case of this one, I think if you're wearing this one, yeah, you see, this one changed a lot, you know, so. This one really settled down on the test strip here. And I would imagine if I sprayed this one on skin, it would have settled down that much more rapidly. But honestly, I am so happy to have both of these fragrances in my collection. Dark Vanilla by Montal and A Midnight Stroll by Gucci. These are both amazing niche fragrances. And I am so excited to continue to expand my Gucci collection. Now this is my second one from the Alchemist Garden and all I can say is that they're all quality. They last a very long time. And I'm still enjoying the one that I did a video on a couple of weeks ago, but this one is going to be uh, the one that I'm gonna be sampling over the next few weeks and hopefully giving you my more in detail thoughts about it. Oh, this is really nice. So it's drying down to more of like a leathery vibe. I don't know if it has a leather accord in here, but it's a really smooth leather. It opened up with smoke. It's drying down to leather. And then this one opened up with heavy vanilla and there's a floral characteristic in here as well but it's sharing the spotlight with the woods really beautiful love both of these thank you so much for watching again if you're interested in sampling or checking out any of these fragrances i'm going to be leaving the links down below again they're not commission links at all i don't get a kickback but i do want to thank fragrancebuy.ca for sending me this box Thank you all so much for watching. If you took something of value from this video, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. If you like this type of content, show your support by leaving a thumbs up on this video. It's so easy, it takes two seconds to do. Love you all, see you in the next video. Bye.